This video is intended for MyQ Wi-Fi enabled garage door openers. You must confirm that the Wi-Fi or powered by MyQ icons are on your garage door opener. Pay close attention to the LED lights around the adjustment button. This video will take you through various troubleshooting tips and techniques to help you successfully connect your garage door opener to your home network. If you have reviewed all troubleshooting techniques and still find you are having problems connecting your garage door opener, please refer to your manual for further instructions or visit myq.com support. If you are having trouble connecting your garage door opener to the MyQ app, we'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. The MyQ app is a free download for Apple and Android smartphones from the App Store and at Google Play. To connect, Bluetooth must be enabled on your smartphone and in the MyQ app in your phone settings. If Bluetooth is not enabled, Apple users will be prompted to allow new connections. Android users will be prompted to turn on Bluetooth. When your phone is connected to the garage door opener using Bluetooth, you'll see a solid blue light on your garage door opener. This means it is ready to connect to your home network. If you are unable to go any further with the setup in the app, follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Do you need to reset your garage door opener? If Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone and the connection fails, the app will detect that something's not right. It will walk you through resetting the garage door opener to the factory default setting. To reset your garage door opener, unplug the power to your Wi-Fi garage door opener and plug it back in. Put the opener back in Wi-Fi learn mode by pressing the learn button on the door control or pressing and releasing the yellow learn button on the opener three times. You will hear a beep and the LED light behind the adjustment button will flash blue. Note, if you have a backup battery in your opener, unplug the backup battery after unplugging the garage door opener. When plugging the backup battery back in, ensure your garage door opener is unplugged. Solution number two. Do you need to reset the Bluetooth on your phone? To reset, go to your phone's Bluetooth settings and forget your MyQ device. Turn Bluetooth off and on to refresh the Bluetooth on your device. Now, when you attempt to connect, your garage door opener should be discovered. Solution number three. Do you need to change the settings on your phone? If you are seeing the blue light on your garage door opener go from blinking to solid and then back to blinking, your phone may be set up automatically to switch to the last available internet connection, which will break the connection to the garage door opener. To correct this, Turn off Wi-Fi Assist, Auto Network Switch, or Mobile Assist feature in your phone settings. Then, start the app setup over again. You can also turn this setting back on once you've finished setting up your MyQ. Solution number four. Are you getting a strong enough Wi-Fi connection? Try turning off all other Wi-Fi devices in your home to eliminate everything but your garage door opener, smartphone, and home router. Once you finish setting up your MyQ, you can turn on your other devices. Your garage door opener should now be connected to your MyQ app. If these solutions have not solved your MyQ app connection issue, you may also need to change the settings on your router's admin page. If you have reviewed all troubleshooting techniques and still find you are having problems connecting your garage door opener, Please refer to your manual for further instructions or visit myq.com support.